So what's going on? A lot of people are talking about this May 2022 Power BI update and of course we are not the exception my friends and that's why today I'm going to talk to you about two awesome features within this Power BI update. Field parameters and also Canvas Zoom. Are you ready? Let's do this. So here we are in Power BI Desktop and let's get started with field parameters. And actually, I already worked on a tutorial about field parameters. It's just the screen recording that I had last week. If you haven't seen it yet, it's highly recommended. I'm going to share with you the link here as well. But let's get started with this example. For this particular example, we're going to be using Amazon data. And this data, this table right here, is coming from Kaggle.com. So that's a website where you can get free data. It's actually public data. I'm going to share with you the link here as well. So you can check it out. And I already have a group of measures here. I'm going to share with you this file so you can have it. I have three different folders with different measures here. There it is. So you can explore that. And of course, as always, we have here our calendar table. So let's do this. Our goal here is to create field parameters with measures. So real quick, field parameters allow users to dynamically change the measures or dimensions within your Power BI report. And like I said, for this particular case, we're going to be using just measures. So let's do this. Field parameters is still in preview. If you haven't activated this option, you have to do that. You have to go to file here and then there is an option here, options and settings. And right here, preview features, there is an option here called field parameters. You have to check this box, okay? And then hit okay, and that's it. So I already have this set up, so we are good to go here. The next step here is to go to modeling. And here, there is an option called new parameter, and let's select fields, okay? Here, we're gonna give the name for this parameter. So we're going to call this parameter volume plus variance. How about that? Now let's use these measures to create a parameter. So here, for example, so we're going to be using volume, volume previous month, volume previous quarter, and volume previous year. How about that? And then let's take a look at the other folder here. We're going to select these three different measures as well. Variance previous month, variance previous quarter, and also variance previous year. Okay. So I think we are good to go here. Let's hit create. So what's happening here is that Power BI is giving us a slicer. As you can see, this is the slicer that we have right so it's already there and we can customize this slicer if we want so check this out you might know this but let's do this anyways here let's select horizontal there you go and then you can also play with this option selection there it is if you want to keep playing here, you can do that as well. Effects, let's add right here shadow. So that way this looks so much better. How can we use this parameter within our visuals? It's quite straightforward, my friends. Let's do that. So this visual, this is a stacked area chart. Okay, so how does it work? Check this out. This is a new table that we created with this parameter. And here, what we're going to do is drag this column into the y axis boom it's thinking here so you will see the results right away there it is so now if we take a look at the other visual here and this is just a table so we're going to do something similar okay so for this particular case we're going to go to the parameters table that we created and drag the column into the columns section here and let's see what happens boom there it is see we have right here volume, volume previous month, previous quarter, 
previous year and we also have the variance here for month quarter and year one of the main goals with this new feature is to empower the end user so we are giving here the end user more options right see right here there are different options here and then based on what they are looking for so they can just play with the data see right here so let's see that we are we only care about volume and also previous month volume previous month and then the other feature would be variance previous month so let's see how it works as you can see here we only have three columns volume volume previous month and also variance previous month so it's working perfectly now if the end user is looking for a different metric maybe previous year we can do that as well check this out previous year variance previous year there it is it's also working now if your end user doesn't care about these metrics so let's reset this slicer and then let's look for example for just variances so we can do that as well right see right here just variances perfect it works perfectly my friends so let's say just previous month variance we can do that as well there it is see and you can start playing with this slicer as well date there it is and you can start playing with the other so now guys let's talk about the canvas zoom for end users this improves readability so let's say that i want to read this better these numbers right here for previous month for the variance right so we can go over here and then let's zoom in check this out and then you can start playing here there it is and then you can also take a look at the other kpis if you want you can have this even closer you can do that as well see awesome now if you want to go back to the initial status you can do that as well check this out here feed to page so there is another option here if you hit this percentage there are more options here you can play with this 33 percent apply there it is if you want to have a customized percentage you can do that as well how about 85 percent we can do that as well there it is like i said before for any user this improves readability and then for designers like ourselves it helps magnify the canvas to make pixel perfect tweaks see awesome if you're gonna go back to the initial status you can do that as well just hit this option right here fit to page boom and remember this is just for power bi desktop if we export this report to the web to power bi service so we can also have the option there so let's do that real quick let's hit publish here save the changes and here let's look for visualization let's select this workspace so it's loading success got it now let's go to power bi service and let's see if we can do the same thing okay so here we are in power bi service and as you can see here this is the report that we just uploaded right so let's open this real quick so it's loading there it is my friends check this out we also have the option here right so we can start playing here 50 percent for example boom 200 percent boom and then we can also look for a specific feature right we can do that as well here awesome guys awesome 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 so if we're gonna go back to the initial status we can do that as well fit to page okay so what do you think about these two awesome features please let me know in the comments below also don't forget to watch this tutorial and this is the tutorial that i published last week there is more details about field parameters you will enjoy it. all right guys Thank you for your time and see you in my next tutorial.